Oh my god, I can hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can hear it too, it's so loud. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Nick and Helmy. Today we have special guest, Janice Bun. Hi! So Janice is also a YouTuber here based in Sydney yes. and she does the food and travel vlogger as well. So check out the link below here. So today Janice is actually from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have a Hong Kong food tour here in Sydney. Yes, we are gonna have Hong Kong breakfast and we're gonna have dim sums and we're gonna have Hong Kong desserts as well which is my favorite thing to eat yep so stay tuned and let's see how good the Hong Kong food are it will be amazing our first stop is Ching Yip Coffee Lounge for your classic Cha Chan Tang experience that you normally find in Hong Kong which serves classic and affordable menus perfect for our breakfast adventure this morning so this is pretty much your good old greasy Hong Kong food. It's really mm -hmm. hearty, it's like it hits the spot. It's a bit fried, there's like so much butter and we'll be adding this syrup on top as well. And uh, we also asked for some peanut butter. I can't really see it, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. Maybe it's underneath. Oh, that's that's like, it's all connected, I think. <laughs> all right, we'll just go and try yeah, we'll to just, we'll just We'll just dig in and see what it's like. Right. I already know what it's like, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Last time we went to Hong Kong, me and Helby love this French toast, so this is something that we always look forward to eating again. Oh, look at that butter. Oh, wow. Oh, it's melting. Look at that. Oh, is that inside there? Yes, peanut butter inside. Oh, that looks oh, so look at that. good. Look at that peanut butter inside. Oh. Talk about healthy breakfast, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, that's that's a lot of maple syrup. Okay, so there you go. It's a French toast, the butter, peanut butter. It's a lot of butter yeah. in the question. And then maple syrup. Mm. It's really eggy on the top. You can really feel it. And but actually, what very what's very prominent is actually the peanut butter. Mm. It's so creamy there underneath. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And then. The butter on top is like a little bit salty and just encases everything all together. And then you got the maple syrup and that just hits you with all this sweet flavor on top. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's a really nice combination of flavor. Okay, I've got peanut butter, condensed milk, and then I'm just gonna smother it in the syrup as well. Lots of syrup. Like you said, it's a bit salty, but it's like a combination of flavors. It's like sweet and salty. And it's just like, just brings me back home to Hong Kong. Aww. Like this is, this just reminds me of home. And also we have the Hong Kong milk tea. So if you go to any Hong Kong restaurant, you need to order this milk tea. Cha, so which is like Cha Chan Teng style, Hong Kong style cafe. So I remember when we went to Hong Kong, the best milk tea is actually at Lan Fong Yen. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, let's try this. There's no flavor. <laughs> I think you have to put sugar on because this is literally like black tea, but it's not sweet at all. It just needs a bit more sugar, I think. There, the, the Hong Kong style milk tea is there, but I think with a bit more sweetness, it'll be like a lot better. And I agree, Lam Phong Yen is one of the best milk teas in Hong Kong. Definitely go try it if you're there. With Hong Kong food, right, you need to go Cha Chan Teng. Mm. What is Cha Chan Teng, Jenny? Cha Chan Teng is like a, it's like a Hong Kong style cafe um, where they just serve typical Hong Kong food like the French toast, like the uh, instant noodles. It's kind of like the American diner, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. This is the actually ultimate breakfast for Hong Kong people, which is, it's actually instant noodle. Can mm. you imagine? Instant noodle with the luncheon meat, which is like spam, and also egg. Well, this place actually do it healthier because they put some veggies, but usually they don't have veggies. No, right? usually they don't have veggies. <laughs> yeah, but oh my god, I can't wait to eat this. What is this noodle? It's actually instant noodle. Even the soup is instant noodle soup, so full of MSG, which is great. <laughs> 
Oh, How's it so broth? Good. It's so good. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh my god. It's like a glammed up version of instant noodles. I know. This is like, you know, usually for Indonesian, we love the mie goreng. I actually prefer this style of, you know, eating instant noodles mm. with the spam, the lanchong mm. meat. You know, we are at a Hong Kong style cafe when some of the bowls are a bit chipped because, because it doesn't matter how the food is held, all it matters is the food itself. Okay, I'm gonna try the broth, like help me and Nick. Yeah, it's a very subtle MSG flavor, but I like it. That's the best in the world. <laughs> There's just... There's just something right about luncheon meat and instant noodles. Maybe they're both so like together. It's like a it's like a perfect jewel. Next, it's time for some dim sum at Canton Canton, where the head chef used to head Sydney's Tim Ho Wan, a Michelin star restaurant from Hong Kong. Canton Canton has all the classic Canton dish like your roast duck to your signature barbecue pork buns. And with a head chef named Jackie Chan, I'm a kung fu myself inside this delicious joint. Of course, he's not Jackie Chan in the martial arts, but he's Jackie Chan in the kitchen. So we're gonna try out some of the best things to try when you're eating Hong Kong food, which is dim sums. Dim sums. We've got so many different types of dim sums. We have shumais, prawn dumplings, we have Hong Kong barbecue, and we also have one of the iconic barbecue pork buns. One of the I like about uh, this type of uh, Hong Kong dim sum is different to yum chai is that everything is almost like an a la carte. Mm. So they're cooked to order, so it's very fresh. Usually yes. in the yum chai places you get in a cart and it's overcooked sometimes, it's a bit dry, you know? And that's what I love when I go to Hong Kong and we try the Tim Ho Wan in Macau. Oh my gosh, it's so fresh, ridiculously good. Yeah. So I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to try I've never been here before, but I've heard really good things. So this is our first time, so yeah. oh, this is going to be good. Yep. All right. So now we have our dim sums right in front of us. What we're going to try first is your classics. The ha gao, which is your prawn dumpling, and your shumai, which is your pork dumpling with flying fish roe on the top. Mm. This, is, this is really good. It really hits the spot. Like I can taste the pork and there's prawn on the top as Yes, there's a prawn too. The prawn is really, really crunchy. This is called Phoenix Eyes. I don't actually, I've never had that before. This is like hakao, which is the prawn dumpling, and they use the black garlic on top. Oh. And also the wrap is actually the uh, green wrap. Mm. The black garlic is actually sweet. It like, is, right? Yeah. yeah. I actually never tried black Neither. garlic. And it's actually very nice. It's a good combination. The sweetness from the garlic combined with the prawn tastes delicious. The barbecue pork bun. Now, it's actually quite different with other barbecue pork mm. bun because this is not steam. This is oven baked. Yes. And as you can see right here, it's like the crust right there. Look at this! So inside is actually the barbecue pork mm. char siu. So it's gonna be very sweet. Yeah, let's try this. Yes. Mm. Mm. I like how crispy like the outer layer. So sweet. I know. Um, and it's and the pork is so meaty, yeah. but you can actually see and taste the pork in there. So it's very good combination of the saltiness from the pork because the pork is like char siu but then caramelize it, right? Yeah. Maybe put some Which sugar. Which is why it's so sweet. Yeah, and then outer layer is with the bun and also the crispy layer on top with the sugar. And because they baked it, the inside is like still a bit fluffy but then the mm. outside is like very crunchy. And now we are gonna try roast meats. So like roast meats is very popular in Hong Kong. We have char siu, we have roast duck, we have roast goose. We also have um, roast pork with like the really nice crackling on top. With the roast pork, there are three different layers. So firstly, there's the amazing, beautiful crackling on top. I'm expecting a huge crunch. And then we have 
the meaty section in the middle, and then last but definitely not least, the nice glistening fat at the bottom. Ooh, my god, I can hear it. <laughs> I can hear it too, it's so loud. <laughs> the crunch, you can hear it, I hope. But then like, it's so soft in the middle. So once you get through the crunch, it's like, oh, there's a little bit of like a, a firm pillow. And then you get to the very bottom of the fat. It's like, it just like coats everything in oil. And it's just, it's a perfect story, really. So that was the delicious Hong Kong lunch. Now this is actually one of my favorite part of the day tour, which is... Hong Kong desserts. Yes. We'll be heading to Hong Kong Day desserts to grab some traditional Hong Kong desserts. Ooh, I can't wait. I Let's can't go. Wait too. Let's go. So the next stop is Hong Kong Day dessert. This is my favorite egg waffle. What's the name? It, try and say it in, in Cantonese. Kai Tan Chai. Kai Tan Chai. Is that right? It's not bad. So we basically got the original, which is mm. plain one. So they have like chocolate flavor, they have cheese flavor, they have the matcha, but yeah. we got the traditional one. Ooh, mm. Look at that ball oh, right it smells there. Smells so good. It smells so good. Mm. It smells like butter and maybe butter, it's... sugar, yeah. egg. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I'll, I'll let you do the honors. Okay. So with this egg waffle, right? You basically eat one by one until it's finished. This really reminds me of Hong Kong. I remember we went to Hong Kong and then we tried this as one of the top 15 Hong Kong food that you have to try. It's nice and warm and fresh out of the waffle iron. So outer layer is quite crispy. Yep. And inside is like pillowy, gooey. Very. Yeah. And very like spongy. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. It's like you, you can jump on it and, and not worry about breaking your neck. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> like uh, the spring bed mattress. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes a good guy dance, right? Is when the exterior is, is crispy and then inside it's still soft and spongy and pillowy. Mm. All right, guys, and the final dish to end the day is none other than both our favorite, yep. the mango sago. Yeah, so this, as Nick said, this is the mango sago pomelo dessert. It's called yang zi gum lo in, in Chinese. And I absolutely love it. It has mango chunks. And I just saw like these mango chunks were massive. They also have sago, they have pomelo, they have coconut milk, condensed milk, and a whole load of sugar. All right, oh, look at that. You can already see that big chunk of mango there. I need to find the mango piece as well. Yes, got it. I'm not sure if it's a mango season right now in Sydney. I don't think so. Yeah, so I hopefully this sweet. is sweet. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Okay. Cheers. cheers. Mango cheese. Mm. Oh, that's so good. My one is a little bit sour. Yeah, I think the mango is a little bit out of season. But everything else is good. <laughs> everything else is good. The cream is it's so smooth. You've got that because of the coconut milk yeah. there. And you got that popping, almost the sago pops of the in your sago. mouth. It's like really crunchy too. It's really, really cold, so it's really refreshing after mm. you eat all the dim sum. It's a really good dessert to like end your meal. Mm. End your meal on a high note, and you can just go along and do whatever you need to do. I think the only complaint is definitely it's out of season, the mango. Mm. So a little bit sour, but if that mango was in season, oh this would my be, God. This would be like a hundred. A hundred, yeah. yeah. I'll give it about an eight for now. Mm. <laughs> Just because of the mango. So that's all for today's Hong Kong food. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to check out Jenna's channel because we also have the collab with her. Yes, I'll be posting the collab on my channel as well. So make sure you check it out. Link will be in the description. There you go. So don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe and comment which one is your favorite Hong Kong food. Until next week, see you later! Bye.